Hey Lou, welcome to the Elevate Your Wellbeing podcast with myself Rachel Wagstaff. Welcome to February 2024. Time's going quickly, but we're already one month into the new year, so stop waiting to feel less busy. If you're like, okay, we're a month into the new year, I've done my 90-day review, but I've got 60 days to go, but I just feel so busy. Here's the thing, you are never going to feel less busy. You are never going to feel less busy. Life is always going to be manic, hectic, crazy, chaotic. Things are always going to happen. When you create a new habit, when you're busy, you are more likely to keep the habit going than if you create it in a time of feeling less busy. Because then when things get extra manic and crazy, that would be the first thing that goes. because It's not set in place. How often have you gone on holiday and you've done all these amazing things for your health and your well-being? Like, oh, I'm going to keep this up when I get home. And it suddenly goes out the window because it's not part of your normal daily routine. It's not part of your normal everyday routine. So it just goes out the window. So it's looking realistically at where you're spending your time and where the thing that you're wanting to start can fit in with ease. And sometimes you're like, but a minute just sounds really pathetic or not worth it. But it builds on itself because when it feels easy, or even once you're doing it, you have that habit of, well, I've started, so I'm not going to stop now. And that's exactly how I built a yoga practice. I literally did 10-minute practices. Sometimes that was enough. I could literally just stop the video. Once the 10-minute practice had finished, I'm like, yeah, I'm done. That was plenty. I can tick it off the list. I don't feel necessarily any more motivated to continue than I did when I'd done it, but I feel so much better for doing it. But I I don't want to keep it going. But there were some times where I'm like, well, I've already rolled out my mat, I've already warmed up, let's keep going, let's keep going and get more done. And then sometimes that would turn into a 20-minute practice or an hour practice if I had the time to do it because I could look ahead and go, actually, yeah, I I could have time to do this. I might want to watch a movie, but realistically, I'm going to feel better for moving my body rather than watching the movie. And then because the physical practice had become so much a part of me, I'm at that point now where I could have the movie on and still do a yoga practice because I might actually start doing the yoga practice and zone out of the movie so much I wouldn't even know it was on. I might realise actually I just want to have a few stretches whilst enjoying the movie rather than just slouching on the sofa. And so you can do what feels good for you. You can have it stack things in so you can get the best of both worlds. It's just honoring what feels good for you. But it's honoring that time is running out. And if you feel busy now, you're going to feel busy next week, next month, next year. And then where's your time going to go when you look back and think, oh, I should have done that. Because I think we have something, you know, average lifespan is around 76 ish depending on which country you live in depending on if you're male or female but that's about four thousand weeks it's about four thousand weeks so it's like checking in with where are you at in how many weeks you have left out of those four thousand weeks you might have more you might have less you know i look at some of my family members some had nowhere near that some had, some had just short of that. Some had way more than that. You know, we don't know how much we're going to be lucky to have, but how are you spending your time? Realistically, is it how you want to spend your time? You might be like, you might be like, I can't stop doing this, but there will be elements that realistically aren't serving you and you could actually use your time in a way that will help you feel so much better. Is that time's going regardless of whether you're busy or not, or whether you're going to start doing the thing or whether you keep putting it off. And this might be a super blunt <laughs> episode. But it's just putting it out there. It's like, it's, it's never going to happen if you don't do it. Like I said um, in episode 59, the quote that I took away from that weekend was, No one can stop you, but no one can make you. 
No one can stop you, but no one can make you. Only you can make yourself do the thing. So you need to look through your diary. Where are you blocking out the time to do the thing? How are you going, oh, actually, I could use this time to do the thing? You know, so it's like sitting down and go, okay, look, I've got my lunch break and I really want to read the books, but I'm sitting here and I'm gossiping with my colleagues. Just start reading the book. If you're in commuting to and from work, it could be 10 minutes, it could be 20 minutes, it could be half an hour, it could be longer. And you're listening to rubbish on the radio or you're listening to the news. Yes, okay, some of us like to really be aware of what's going on. There can be a time and a place for that. Whereas you could be like, actually, again, I want to go through the books, but I'm going to listen to Audible. I want to go for a particular training so I can create a skill for myself. So maybe I can create a little bit of a side hustle to create more time and financial freedom sooner in my life than waiting to 65. So I'm going to listen to a podcast. I'm going to listen to a training. So I'm utilizing that time whilst I'm driving home or whilst I'm driving to the office. There are so many different ways that you can utilize the time you have right now to actually compound, help you feel so much better later in your life. So how can you utilize the time you have right now rather than just keep putting it off, I haven't got the time. Because I'm willing to bet that's not true. I'm willing to bet you've got time to do something. Because something is always better than nothing. Something is always better than nothing. You deserve to do what it is that you need to do to feel good. If you're feeling uber busy, maybe it's that you need a routine and a system in place to help you feel not so busy. Maybe you need to suck it up and ask for help and delegate it out to other people. And I know the type A's listening to this will be like, no, I can't do that. There will be something that you can get rid of whether that's get rid of completely or delegate out. There will be something that you can get rid of. And obviously, this is something that, as your coach, I can go through much more in detail. So you might be joining the Facebook group. So if we're going into that particular topic or you want me to go into that topic, you know, request it. And then you get to ask your questions. This could be something that we can dive into a little bit more on a strategy call. Link is in the show notes. Come along and book in your call maybe you're then, you're then signing up for that 12 week coaching program and this is where we can really hone in and work on what is going to help you feel less busy and actually get closer to those goals that dream list that you created just a month ago so how would it feel to feel less busy, to have that time that you would love to do the things that you want to do. And then come on over to Instagram and let me know. How would that feel? Because I would love to hear from you. 